So if you've been seeing all of these crazy videos that people have been creating with Google VEO 3 and you don't want to pay $125 a month and you want to try it out for free, then you can get a Google AI Pro. You can pay $0 for the first month and you get access to their filmmaking tool custom built with VEO 3, which is Flow. It helps you put these clips together and you get access to a lot of other AI tools that Google has absolutely free zero dollars for the first month and so you have to use one of your free google accounts it can't be your workspace account but essentially you would just open up a new tab click on the nine dots in the top right and then you should find this one right here that says google one come over here to the left where it says google ai and then you can try google ai pro for one month and no charge and get access to google video 3 and just to show you that it works if you look at the message box, you can see that there's canvas, deep research, but then you have this tab right here that says video. And if we zoom in right here, it says generate with VO3. So that's how you get VO3 absolutely free for one month at least to play with it. You can make your own entertaining videos for social media, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever for a month. You get a thousand AI credits, I believe. So you can use those to create those videos to make videos like I'm doing right now or just other content on social media. But here's a video that I did for a school drill. Keep moving, please, keep moving. Stay in line, follow the path. And so we see certain aberrations like this guy pointing forward. We got this kid over here. We got drill in progress signs all over the school. Schools don't typically do that. I don't think everything else looks great. This, the buildings of the school, the people, the lighting. Look at the shadow, how clean it is straight across. Like this is perfect. Besides those few aberrations, this one is a general frog giving a motivational speech to his soldiers before they go and battle this wolf or beast. We fight not just to survive, but to show the beast we are not prey. <laughs> That was pretty neat. You know, the frogs all dressed up in armor, ready to go fight and the zoom out to see all of the frogs there. Like it's kind of intuitive. And even if you look at the landscape, it does have a sci-fi like feel for this type of animation. So this was good as well. So if you haven't seen the left or read the left behind series, they basically talk about the book of revelation and when Jesus returned for his followers and what the world is like after that event happens. And so I created a news a news anchor who's talking about it have vanished. Some are saying this was foretold something about Jesus returning for his followers. See, like right here, you can still see the different anomalies where VO3 is still doing the AI thing, but it's almost like a mask. It's like there's one subject, the news anchor, and it's on a layer. This one is getting all of the focus and attention for the detail and the realism. And then everything in the background kind of still performs on a lower scale AI level. And I know that with some AI models, they've taught it to look at different portions of images you upload and then bring those together instead of trying to process the full image. And I wonder if Google is doing something similar with the video where the system is going to give more attention to the primary character and less attention to items in the background because you can see these little uh, anomalies in all of the videos i believe this is when the beast is going to call fire down from out of the sky we are not afraid and so this tool is good as far as realism goes but we can still see that it has this sort of AI way of thinking about humanity in the way it does everything. Like everything is so choreographed. Like look at the people in the background. Why did they throw their hands up before bowing down and then come back up? Like, what was that? Were they helping to pull the fire down out of the sky? I don't know. And then we have this last one that we'll look at. Uh, which one is this one? The Antichrist walks slowly through the kneeling crowd who reached towards him as if in worship. Some cry, others chant or press their faces to the ground. His expression is calm and authoritative. Behind him, giant screens show the words, he is God and a strange symbol glowing in red. The sky is unnaturally still. As the camera pulls back, the crowd seems endless, completely overtaken by his influence. Ominous music tone applied by visual tension. He is God. Oh, wow. 
it's crazy to think that this is actually going to happen, but that looks very realistic. And so I think that I'm just going to run this prompt one more time. That's something I haven't done, but I'm going to try to run the same prompt to see how many different iterations and quality we can get and basically see, is it the prompt or is it the system? Because that looked great. It actually had some voice over because I was going to try to rewrite the prompt to see if I can get him to say something, but that looked very cinematic. And that was probably the best one out of all the ones I've seen. But let's look at this second video that was created with the same prompt. <laughs> Now, the main difference between these two is not only the character, like he's bald here, here he has a head full of hair. The background images are the same. He is God. But in this one, it's more of a worship song type feel. This technology is in its infancy stage, but it's definitely going to get to a place where it can deceive anyone. And I have no doubt that this technology is going to be used in some nefarious ways. And I definitely think that it's going to play a part uh, in the end times as it advances, because this is just the beginning of what this technology can do. So much of what we see when it comes to AI is around this ability to create something that's fake, that makes you believe it's real. It's about deception, whether you like to use that word or not. And very little of what we hear comes from actual good use cases as far as trying to cure certain cancers or come up with cures or vaccines for certain ailments that we've always dealt with or struggled to understand and try to beat. I think there is a very serious danger with AI that not enough people understand. But with this technology, you can create realistic videos that make people believe anything you want them to believe, and then they take action on that. The problem with propaganda and when you're able to create propaganda like this at scale, because Google may be here today, but other countries will catch up. They will have this technology and these capabilities eventually, and they might even have the regulations that we try to put in place in the US. So in other countries, they may say, well, we're going to use this to deceive Americans. We're going to use this to deceive people anywhere in the world that we can. And the danger is not knowing what you're looking at online, which is why we have to get back to, we should have never stopped doing it, but so many people just, they see a meme and they believe it. They screenshot it, they share it, and they never question, is this real? They never fact check it. They never look for independent sources. And so I really think that's important. After looking at these videos and what it's able to do, I'm not as impressed as everyone else. Like the videos look good. I'm not trying to downplay it. But what I am saying is that there are certain things where you can still tell that it's AI. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting really good. It's getting really good. And I think where it shines the most is like in scenes like this with the Antichrist that are meant to be cinematic. So we can see that it still has some ways to go, but it's a very powerful tool. But let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Do you think this tool is great for content creation or do you think that this is too dangerous or it's going to become too dangerous one day for regular people to just have access to without regulations, without certain rules in play to help people be able to identify AI content because you can identify it right now. Still, if you pay attention to it, you can see the aberrations in the background, how people fold out of one another. But let me know what you guys think about this technology in the comments. And also let me know if you signed up for a trial for Google one so that you can test it out and play with it. But if you got value out of the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always take care, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.